Good afternoon, or good evening, or good morning, depending where you are. We're getting later and later today. Yeah, we're a little bit later today. Uh, we just had a group in the workshop. I'll just connect, I'll just check everything's working as we like it. Let's just turn up. Good afternoon. Yeah, we're all on there. Right, so uh, this is going to be our last live stream for a few weeks because um, we're away for a little bit through August. We're going to see um, Yelly, my wife's family. So yeah, we won't be uh, in a position to do any live streaming. We did try last year, but it didn't really work out. So uh, um, it's, it's, it's a bit difficult when we're away to do it. And of course you can't demonstrate much because uh, we're not in the workshop. So what I'm gonna to demonstrate today through this live stream is just making these simple little butterflies that we turn into fridge magnets. So a nice little project to do. Um, nothing too complicated, not, nothing too taxing. Um, we're stacking together three layers. The wood that we're using for it is some juniper. And it has that beautiful character, those beautiful colours. I know in America you refer to this as, I think, Eastern Cedar and Fragrant Cedar, I've heard it referred to as well. We've done all of our drill holes, so we've prepared everything, pre-prepared everything. Oh, the carver's with us. Where are you then? Yeah, we, um, we just had a group in, so uh, we're a bit later than normal. Um, we're, uh, so, so that's uh, hence the late start, but uh, we're here now and we're ready to roll. Um, yeah, we cut out all of this, we'll end up with three butterflies at the end of it. And uh, a nice little project to have a go at. I believe, I'm pretty sure, I've got the original design on the um, website. So anybody wants to have a go at making this, you're more than welcome. Download it off the, uh, off the website and have a go. We've got all these fine little bits of detail to do first of all. So we've cut all of those internal cuts out because that's the order that we do things in. Get all of your internal cuts done first and then cut the surround and that way you keep those three layers together for as long as possible. As we're going along, got any questions, any thoughts, any ideas, feel free to share it and uh, we see how we get on.
you'll notice that one thing I always do when I'm uh, working with the scroll saw, because we're stacking it, um, this is something I'm still looking into, and I, I, I it's something I've got to spend more time looking at, really. I, I find that the blades, uh, sorry, the drill bits, when we cut out the drill bits, I do find that they drift. Very frustrating thing. And they don't drill perfectly straight. Um, so I am going to have a good look. Any thoughts on this as well would be much appreciated because the problem is when you're doing very fine detail like this, the top layer will be fine, the middle layer will be okay, but the bottom layer, I can see the drill holes where I've gone through it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back over these to try and get rid of the mark where I can see that drill. But it's 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 not the ideal solution. Basically, uh, I would like a more accurate drill press and a better drill bit on the fine drill bits so it doesn't do that where it just drifts to the side slightly. Oh, we've got Sire on. Hello there, we are in the light. Can I come in on that, Dave? It's what, sorry? Can I come in on that? Yeah, Thomas Woodcarver wants to say something sorry. about that one. It goes back to the apprenticeship, Dave. Apprenticeship? Yeah, I, it's, it's partly my fault because I should... Well, we should always spike it, really, shouldn't we, well, as well? Well, no, to, very simply, to get it. The, there's nothing wrong with the drill. You don't reckon there is? Not really, no. It's unfortunately... You think it's the base, then, do you, that we got it on? All i got to do is sharpen the drill bit. Right. I, yeah, I, I and, still think that we could get something better because it, yeah, it's... Yeah, but that's, that's the problem because you said about the chisels, didn't you? Oh, yeah, the, the chisels need... to sharpen them. It's basically, we're at that stage now where, yeah. um, because it's our last week before we go and we're just rushing like mad to get through things um, yeah. and, and stuff like yeah. that happens, but I still think we could get a better drill press set up yeah. um, to help yeah, us well, with I mean, that. Again... If we had a bigger workshop, yeah. yeah. You know, this yeah. is probably everybody listening would say, yeah. Yeah. We'd all like a bigger we've, workshop. Ex exactly. Oh, we've got a few others. Henry's joined us as well as Rob and the, the carver. Oh, we've got John as well there. Hello there. Hey, Di. Um, I just sent my line before I got your notification. I wanted to see you. Oh, thank, thank you for joining us. Great to have you with us. And Henry's there as well. Hi, everyone. The thinner the bit, the more likely it is to drift. Yeah, I do think there is. I know what you're saying as well, Dad, with it, with it drifting a bit. Um, but uh, with it needing sharpening, it is right. It does need sharpening. But it, it is because it's such a fine drill bit that it does tend, when it's going through those layers, it does tend just to pull pull a little bit. But I, I think it's something, uh, there we are, some research for me to do on my holidays. Finding the right system and getting everything sorted out.
So we've still got a tiny bit that we're still trying to get rid of on, so it's on the outside of that one there. And then we'll have sorted the problem out. And then we'll explain how we're gonna address this now going forward with the other parts of the design. Okay, so there we are. We've got those first three little drill bits done. So what we're gonna do then, see, we're gonna match all of the other parts up. Oh, I'm still not happy with that bit. Isn't it frustrating where you just can't quite get that one little bit as you want it? Um, but what we'll do, see, is we'll match all of these others. So we're gonna make all of that detail bigger to match this, and then hopefully it'll cover all of those drill holes um, that we've got. This is, um, oh, we've got Larry with us as well, have we? I miss, I miss Larry. Hello there. Um, I'm advertising here for your channel to help others. Right, so um, I'm advertising here for your channel. Yeah, to uh, any, anybody, um, yeah, any, anybody who's got channels or anything like that, anybody doing similar stuff to ourselves, yeah, let us know. Um, and we'll get, we, we get everybody across to you, the same as we've done with the Carver's channel. Get everyone onto your channel. Um, to su support you is that's, that, that would be the hope because the, the that's the the best thing is if you know we can grow community together. Brilliant! It's it's always good to be able to help one another out, and it's great to be able to see what one another's doing. So yeah, anyone who's got channels you're looking to grow them, let us know and uh, we give it a shout out on it.
Oh, we got a little check. Um, I'll have a look. So, yeah, an advertising here for your channel. So, um, is that, um, I'm just checking here. Would if I could, John C. I'll have to try it. So is that your, is that your channel? Because if, if it is, I'll have to write that one down. So uh, I'll have a look at, I'll have a look myself as well. Um, yeah, if you're looking uh, at developing on YouTube, um, one thing I've noticed at the moment is that I know it's all this algorithm stuff. That's the big, you know, that's always the big thing they talk about on YouTube. Um, and the one thing I've noticed, and I, I'm not the only one pointing this out now, a lot seems to be skewed now towards like the shorter content. So all the short content seems to be outperforming um, the longer format stuff. Um, I'll try and remember now, would, would if I could, I need a pen. I'll have to wait for Dan to come back in. Um, and so, yeah, if, you're, if you are trying to grow your channel on, on YouTube now, I, that, that's my own impression is that the, the this algorithm stuff it all seems to be going towards the shorter content which personally I don't actually agree with myself but um, that's that's what they're focusing on myself I I'm more I feel it's better with what we're doing it is actually the longer content that's my own preference for it but it's just worth noting if you're trying to, to grow um, that that does seem to be where everything is is moving but i myself as i said the long the the longer format and the live streams are, are my own preference
Okay, so we've got all of those like teardrop shapes cut out. And now we're just gonna finish off with these hearts. Now by making those bits of detail bigger, it doesn't really change the design that dramatically, but it makes life a lot easier later on. I haven't got to fiddle around with recutting out on that bottom layer. So a little bit of extra work when we're cutting out initially, excuse me, uh, and initially, but it just saves me working later on as well. Uh, so they look, uh, it's not like I get paid for what I make as it's, uh, as it's butts, shorts, shorts don't pay, don't pay. Yeah, I mean, um, no, the, the, the shorts, the short content is, um, yeah, you, you basically, um, you, it's very difficult to get paid for, for, for making any of the shorts, anything substantial. I, I mean, it's very difficult to get paid full stop. Um, on YouTube, you're not going to earn a huge amount, but um, you've got the item that you've demonstrated, you've got that then that you can sell, and also um, you you can grow your channel on the back of it. It's it's at the moment it's the the, the sort of best opportunity to grow more quickly um, on on the platform. Uh, right, let's finish off cutting this detail. We then go on to our other one, and I have got another item that I'm going to demonstrate, which is very much showing what I would do as a day job then. So, yeah, let's have a little look at finishing this one off. So as you can see, we've got all of that uh, detail done on the inside of our butterfly design. And we are now cut all around the outside. Now once you've done this, really, you could leave it um, just like that. Uh, but I tend to do a little bit of carving afterwards as well. We stick a magnet on the back and we sell it as a butterfly themed fridge magnet. It's another item, it would be one of our sort of top sellers. Quick to make, um, you can produce volume, 
and it, it really would be quite effective. So as I said, if you want to have a go at making that one, you'll find that template on the, uh, the website. You're welcome to use it and make your own. Okay, so you can see we've just released it from the saw. Turn it around, check it on the back, see how the progress is going. Check if we're happy with everything, which we are. And then I can go back to do this detail back here and then work our way around the other side of the muffin line. Um, it's not like uh, Fair play then. Yeah. <laughs> Fair play then, you're, start, you're starting to sound proper Welsh on us there, the carver. Right, let's have a little look then.
stop it again and check that we've got a clean finish, which we have on the bottom there. There's a little whisker. Have we got a spare blade? Yeah, we've got a little blade there. Just take out that tiny little whisker left over. Just like so. And now we work our way around the other side of the butterfly. And then proceed on to the next project, which has fallen on the floor. That's great. I'm just checking it all over. Check it over in the light. See if there's any. I possibly just go over the top of there, just to take off a few little little burn marks. So we sort that. I was a blade. What's that? I was a blade. Yeah, not too bad. Okay. interested uh, concerned about you know how um, our business is then yeah absolutely 
Because I know our friends across, as we call it, across the pond. Yeah. Uh, are in, uh, I, I, I mean, it's, it's the definition of a, of a recession, isn't it? But things are not much different for ourselves here. Um, yeah, however, you know, the, I won't say which coach company it was, but I spoke to uh, the owner of one of the coach companies and he was saying that uh, at this point in time, he's about 50% down on pre-COVID, which is, uh, which is a lot, you know. It's, it's, a, uh, it's, a, it's a substantial figure, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but it just shows, you know, what is, what's happening and... Um, well, there we are. We split those away from one another. Yeah, it just shows that it's it's difficult times, isn't it? The, um, there we are. And uh, that's why we keep thinking of different ideas, different projects, and hopefully different ways that you can make a little bit of uh, revenue if you want to or if you need to from, from the work that you well, do. Well, I, I, I think this slack cutting is... is you know, it's a real sort of godsend because... Um, well, let's work that out. We, we just... Um, there we are. I mean, it's still a fair amount of work, isn't it? Cutting all of that out. And I will carve them as well. That's taken us, I don't know, at least half an hour, 40 minutes maybe, to cut those three out. Yeah. And we'll sell them for 7 50 each. Yes. So still quite a bit of work, but I, I ended up doing extra cutting because the, the drill, where I drill... Um, where I drilled those holes... If we can find the solution for the, the drilling to get it absolutely perfect, well, again, um, I go sharpening that drill bit. I go, I go back to the problem. Yeah. So, you know, uh, it's, it's basically the difference between precision. Yeah. Uh, and we get towards engineering. Yes. Yeah. It 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 is really. We it's, need to be working to. Um, one, one and two mil, isn't it? Well, not, not really. You, you just, everything needs to be sharp. And, uh, you know, that's the sort of... It, it's a prob it, it is a problem for us, isn't it? Like because... a, what do they say? It's, it's a bad workman that blames his tools. And um, it's partly my responsibility to make sure that the tools that we're using are... Performing to their best, I guess yeah. is the way you can put it. But yeah. I still think, though, that there'd be something out there for us. Because there are different systems people use. Some people use like a, a Dremel on a press and things like that. And I, yeah, I do think but, that, that uh, you know, what do they say? Um, a chain is as strong as its weakest link. Yeah, that's right. And that, that, that example, it's, it's a relevant example for anybody, really. I think the moral of, of what we're looking at here is, is for anyone sort of thinking about it, it is really worth us getting everything working perfectly because it would have saved me probably 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I'd have done that in and, and half remember, an hour as opposed to 50 minutes. I remember speaking to um, one of the Dremel, uh, you know, one of these... Um, one of the people employed by them, one of the... No, it, 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 they, they were... Well, he may have been employed by them, but they, they were... At one of the shows, demonstrating. They were demonstrating. demonstrating. I think it was Shepner Mallet or somewhere like that. Yeah. And that was one of the uh, points that he stressed, was that you, you must have a sharp... Uh, a new uh, sharp blade. Yeah. Uh, and don't, you know... Don't waste your time with one that's not. That's right. Yeah. Right, we're going to do this simple little one. Um, and just cut out. Do, do you want to sand this there. ready for yeah, you could, shellacking? You could, you could sand. You could sand one of the done. There's a bit of carving. If you leave the one with the paper, so I got a one to oh, follow, okay, then. and then sand the other two down. Yeah, I really just want to show everybody the um, show everyone the grain, the the wood that you're using. is it's, oh, beautiful. It's, it's very nice. It's, uh, I'll leave the brush there. Okay. Ready. Right, yeah.
This is an interesting one in terms of business stuff. Um, I'm cutting out four layers on that one, a thinner stack. And I mean, I'm pretty much through this in about a tenth of the time. You know, it just gives you an idea that, you know, whilst um, this is probably for us um, as a business, then is a better item than the butterfly. Oh, definitely. You know. And that's what happens, you know, when you're. Like I, I'd be honest, I, I think the end result is more, a bit more pretty, the, the butterfly, but yeah. in business terms, this item would be more more effective. <laughs> well, it's very us. much swings and roundabouts. That's the, that's the situation, yeah. isn't it? You know, yeah. it, it to, um... But I would say, again, though, I would say we probably, we sell more of these than we do the butterflies. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, um, but we sell them at a at a cheaper price. I think we sell these for four fifty, four ninety nine. Oh, there we are. But that's a golden um, price, you see. It's under a fiver. It's under five pounds. Yeah, uh, and that's what we try to do: cater for. Um, you know, we have we have items that we make for sale that range in price from. What's our cheapest item? Key rings are four fifty. Well, you 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 got items at two fifty. We got two. Oh, we got we got uh, we got some of the fridge magnets that I make. Yeah. Well, it, but those are made with um, the photos. <laughs> so we got items starting from four fifty up to um, 
What's the most expensive item we got on sale at the moment? Well, two hundred pounds is the most expensive love swim we got for sale in the shop. The most expensive item we're making at the moment is three hundred and fifty, isn't it? Yeah. And everything sort of in between. Um, and you do find that, don't you? Certain price points, um, like as you said, this is a golden price point because it's under five pounds. Yeah. Um, and then we've got the next point, nine ninety nine. So and, it, and they do sort of sell in different volumes then. One of the most effective ones, uh, you've been making a Christmas decoration for five pounds. Yeah. And that's that's probably our top seller. Any Christmas stuff, that, that sells brilliantly. So with a bit of luck, if you remember, the last time you went to Spain, yeah. that's what you came back to, didn't you? What was that? I, I found that new... Yeah, no, no, no. You, you came up with a whole range, um, a whole range of, of items, which is what we're sort of constantly doing. I'm just looking here, would if I could, John C. I think that's the chat channel, so I'm just gonna write it down. Would if I could, John C. Let's have a look. I think that's the channel name. Um, if either Henry or John are there, um, yeah, if you could confirm that that is uh, the right one, then then yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. Um, no escape from it, it seems. We're all struggling. Yeah, absolutely. It's um, difficult times for everyone. I think um, they, they've certainly they've certainly done a grand job in messing. Well, of course, in this area up. as well, it, it isn't just the, um, the fact that number of visitors are obviously down. They can't... They, it, it's, it's finding people who will work in the hotels That's right. uh, yeah. and guest yeah. houses, etc. It's, it's, all, it's all changed and yeah. quickly. Right, let's cut this one out. Gives us four. So we got so far. There's a little comment there. Did we have a check? The yeah, we have a check of it. So we got four paw prints and three butterflies. So that's around about forty-five pounds ish. Around there. Uh, just bought a scroll saw. Hello, Janet. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I'm really enjoying watching you make these items. Brilliant. Ah, oh, that's the nice thing. The scroll saw, there's so many little simple ideas that you can do and turn them into. So, for instance, we're selling these as paw print decorations, Christmas decorations and things like that. And we, we I, know, I know there's carving to go on there. Do you want, do you want yeah, to do put a coat of shark on it. Let everyone see the, just so that see beautiful it. wood. Um, and I reckon, coat, I know we've got to sand it down, but yeah, put a coat okay. of shellac on that. Thomas Woodcarver put a coat oh, of shellac sorry. on it. Yeah, any of the these ideas as well, Janet. If you go on the, if you go on our website, you'll find the link. Um, it's the loveswingworkshop.com and you'll see there's, um, on a number of our videos, you'll find the link. A lot of the templates we put up for free, um, so our original drawings, and you're more than welcome, print them off and have a go at making them because they're great fun. 
Um, and they're, they're nice little items. That's a lot of what we do then, is making simple little gift items. Another little tip as well, simple I mean. gift ideas. You know, it's, it's just using your time. For instance, here now. Look at that. Although I'm shellacking, um, and I, we're gonna sand down, sorry, we're gonna sand this down afterwards as well. Yeah. It's still okay, because it is filling the pores. That's right. So, you know, it's not sort of completely, um, Time wasted. A waste of time then. No, you know. absolutely. So you can see the difference when the shellac is on there. There you go. So you can see how it brings up the colour on those simple little items. And they're, they're, they're popular and um, yeah, that's what we do. Right, now to finish off, um, I think I'm going to demonstrate. Well, anybody knew as well, we use this shellac. Yeah. Um, it's, it's the one we use is Fiddy's. Yeah. Uh, it comes from Cardiff. And, and that's gone uh, up in price massively as well. Oh, yeah. Although it's expensive, two coats of shellac, you can then, if you want to, put wax on top. Um, but it's so easy to use and it's it's quick. Uh, it dries. It does the job for us. 15 minutes to half an hour, at, uh, depending on the atmosphere. Absolutely. Um, but it's a lovely. Um, it's a lovely finish. It gives, it it gives a nice finish. It's not a gloss. It's, it's, a, it's matte, a sort of a matte finish, a matte, but there there is a bit of a glaze to it. Yeah, absolutely. Right to finish off, I'm not going to cut out all of this, but I'm just going to demonstrate. This is where it all really started for us when it comes to scroll sawing, isn't it? Because this is what we originally bought the scroll mm. saw for, and that is to cut out the basic profile for our love spoons. And so we use a combination, and we will scroll saw. The love spoon. So the whole process, we use a router and a bowl. Uh, a router to take out and a, a template to take out the bulk of the bowl. We then hand carve that afterwards. We then drill all of our pilot holes and all of our holes that we will do our Celtic weave with afterwards. We then sand the back of the spoon to get it nice and flat so it sits on the bed of the scroll saw easily. You feed your blade into your hole on the back and we cut the shape out so this is why and how we first started in um scroll sawing is to cut out our love spoons so you may wonder with the name die love spoons thomas where does that sort of come from this is 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 how it all sort of started for us and then from there you know we've we've progressed on it and we were talking earlier about um youtube channels the the, the one saying about how um wanting to you know grow their youtube channel um one of the things that I would say would probably get missed with, a, a you know, starting a woodworking channel, if you're a woodworker, I'd recommend starting a YouTube channel because it's changed aspects of our business massively, isn't it? Because we now make more um, wooden items than ever, yeah. more different items. And a lot of that is because we're thinking of different ideas. What can we demonstrate on YouTube? And as a result of that, we make in so many more wooden items. So we benefited from being on YouTube. It's not always, um, you know, because it's it's very slow in terms of if you're looking to grow on there. There are other ways that you'll benefit from having a channel on YouTube and um, and, and doing demonstrations and, and making things yeah, on We're there. going back 45 years. Yeah, but back to where although, we started. Although we're going back 45 years, it, it sort of... Um, we're going back to we've how learned, we started. We, we've learned a lot in 45 years. Yeah. And we realised that some of the items uh, that we were making then, yeah. we've sort of reintroduced them. That's right. I mean, there we are. Simple little item, you know, coasters and stuff like that. You yeah. know, all these little items that we've introduced yeah. to the workshop. And we've been surprised at the success of some of these items, just the, the level of success with it. So, yeah, if you are thinking of getting into YouTube, go for it because... It, you, you'll benefit in, in lots of different ways.
Right, always with our love spoon, see? Uh, what we're doing, we're recording things and we're telling stories through um, what we what we make, basically. So, give you an idea with this one. Uh, we've got the cross at the top, so it's for a couple. This is, uh, the, these are their, their first name initials entwined together. Uh, so, well, sort of side by side, supporting one another, I would say, with that one. We want a 50 on there because it's their 50th wedding anniversary. They wanted a cross at the top. We got a bird of prey because it's something that they were passionate about. We got a pound sign because they both work in the um, the, the finance industry, and then you've got a Celtic weave around the outside, representing binding and growing together. So that's what we do. See, we can tell a whole story, share messages um, through the work that we do. Uh, it's quite a novelty for me doing this, actually, because that's some of the easiest scroll saw, and I've done in months because I do everything now stack cutting. And, you know, it's so easy cutting through with this Nikwa Speed, uh, the number nine reverse tooth blade, it's cutting through there so easily. It's just effortless. Uh, as we're going along, then we're also working out how we're going to go about things. So we're going to go right into there and just leave that part of the wing attached. We leave it attached to the top of the pound sign. Uh, here we will, I've actually missed a drill hole. So we've got to drill in there and we also have to decide how how and what we're going to leave attached there. What you're always thinking with wood and when we're doing the love spoons, everything that we do, you have to have that strength, as you all know. You've got to keep that strength in it. If you don't have the strength, then it's going to fall apart and you're going to have some problems. So let's proceed and continue cutting out this bespoke love spoon. This is all sort of you know, the week before we go, you, you, you're trying to get as much done. So this is a high priority um, one that hopefully we'll be able to, um, to, to, to get done this week. Fingers crossed.
advantage as well, uh, I, you, you probably haven't sort of, I, I don't know how much people know about lump spoons. Yeah, yeah. But um, obviously this is for somebody in particular, but it's nice that you can put a story into your love spoon. Yeah, absolutely. And you can tell a story, um, um, you know, you, you can tell a story through through everything um, that you're doing. There's always yeah. that message. And it, it's that much more personal. Yeah. Is, um, is, just for that, curiosity. Thanks for the support as well, uh, Rob. Much appreciated. <laughs> He's told everyone, give us a thumbs up. It helps oh, the channel. Absolutely. <laughs> it's, what, what type of bird is that, Dave? Um, they basically, they wanted a bird of prey. Um, it's it's a kite. And I, I know, like Mum said, oh, you could emphasise the fork more. But what it is, um, and this is something that you could consider doing, it's actually taken from, I think I took it from my own photo. You know, I got the, uh, we had the kite oh, here. Oh, right, yeah. So it's actually the shape and outline. I, I, I added the detail, but it's the shape and outline of the actual... Well, Red kite. I, I was going to gild the lily a bit and say I thought it was a golden eagle because right, uh, it was a golden wedding anniversary. Golden it didn't even, didn't even come into my head to, to yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah. they. Um, I, I basically I took the image. Um, oh, I remember, I'd taken a photo. I remember the kite yeah, I got I got some. Anyone seen our social media? I did put it up on there, and I got some nice photos of the kite. And then um, we, you know, you can use that image then to to sort of develop. Um, your, your design from the car says thanks. Thanks for the reminder. Sorry, yeah. no, appreciate it. We always appreciate all the support. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, we carry on and we carry on cutting out the the shape. I was explaining as well that we always when you're cutting out these things, you're always looking how do we give it enough strength, but also make it as straightforward for us to make as, yeah. as possible. Yeah. Originally, their drawing they have the pound sign <laughs> above the bird of prey. And I didn't think it worked as well, so I swapped it round. And I think it was nicer having yeah. the, the bird there, to be honest with you. Yeah. Were you were going to say, I thought you were going to say something. <coughs> he was going to cough, if that's what it was. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, that's the dust. <coughs> it is. Scroll a thon. Yeah. Yeah, it would be uh, you know. 24 hour scroll a thon. Yeah. There we go. Ch that's a challenge and a half. Your arms will be burning after we that. Are, we ought to talk about Guinness Book of Records because. Um, I, I, one thing I was going to point out as well is is, is the coffin. Um, because, of course, I, I what I'm cutting here, see, I got the mask on and all, um, and all the protective stuff. What I'm cutting here is a piece of mahogany and. I can smell it. It's got that little bit of peppery yes. about it, and of course, um, you you do get affected by this because you've had it. You've had a lifetime of working with it, but you also you, Dad came through in an era where, like the dust mask, they they'd be, they they wouldn't have existed when you first did did no, your apprenticeship, no, would they? No, no. Um, so it's how things have moved on, and you would have worked in asbestos and all sorts, wouldn't you? Yep. And the dust all floating round. So uh, yeah, so Thomas Woodcarver does have a, a few coffin fits like that every now and then. But it's um, yeah, it's the uh, a lifetime of working with the material. That's why we always say dust mask and protective goggles and 
all sorts. It's uncomfortable sometimes, but uh, necessary. It's very necessary. Oh, we just took the camera. Apologies. I'd explain as well what happened when I showed Mum this um, design and I said, what bird do you think it is? And she said, oh, is it a buzzard? I said, no, I said, it's not. It's actually um, a red kite. And she went, oh, well, it hasn't quite got enough of a fork in the tail for a red kite. And it, it just, it was, I, I said to her, I said, but it's a, from a real photo. <laughs> so it's interesting, isn't it? How, um, you know, you'd see, you see, Something like that, and she she was saying, you know, you haven't emphasised the fork enough, but the the silhouette is a is an actual red red kite. But mm. she was saying, but it's interesting. Then um, I did say I, I may pronounce the fork in the tail a little bit more because that's what they're known for, isn't it?
was going to say to you, you know, you mentioned that now about um, your, your father there saying, um, he said, that's the school teacher in you coming out. What, yeah. what was that one? I yeah. missed that one. Yeah, that's, that's really what. But what I was going to say was the fact that um, where we live, yeah. opposite, is known as Keitel, and yeah. that's how they pronounce it. But it's interesting for the, um, it's the Pembrokeshire dialect, isn't it? Yeah, instead of saying Kite Hill, they say Keitel. Keitel. And, yeah. and that's where the, the red kites would have been. I've missed one drill hole here. Can you see? So I've just missed that one there. So I'll have to go back over that afterwards. Um, but oh, most yeah. most of the sort of more intricate cutting out on this is done. I said, what a difference when you're only cutting out one layer oh, of, yeah. of mahogany. Yeah. Um, yeah. Easy. I, I, I'm with a spoon like that. You see, you're not going to, by doing two, you, you're certainly... Well, that's right. We're not going to benefit. Yeah.
so as you can see, starting to take shape, starting to come together. Um, and that's the plan now, is to get through this. And we'll be preparing this love spoon fully for the wood carving. So it's taking shape. This is a bit of an extended live stream now. I hope that's okay with everybody. I hope you're enjoying it, and it's interesting. Um, and uh, any questions, any thoughts as we go along, let us know. But I think it's worthwhile to see the whole, um, the whole spoon sort of come together. Still cutting well, Good. and because it's mahogany, yeah. and because it's only a, a single layer, yeah. it's doing the job well. It's turned into a, a bit of a, a marathon live stream, but I think it's worthwhile for everyone to be able to see the. This is what we do then as a day job, and to see the the finished yeah. article yeah. ready for carving. Yeah.
narrowly missed. So let's have a look. Um, uh, look at this here. I'm doing stack cuts as I'm watching. Brilliant. Uh, I'm eating ham and pepper jack cheese on wheat bread for lunch as I watch. Fantastic. Oh, and again, thank you all for the support and thank you all for uh, for joining us. So as you can see. We've got um, five internal cuts, and then I'm gonna cut as much as I can around that outline um, to get things finished off. With... Hello, Nico, are you okay? Is that a live stream? We are live streaming, Nico. We're doing a bit of a marathon. We're well on here. How are you, are you okay? Yeah. Good, good. You gonna say hello to everyone? Okay. You say hello? Hello, everyone. Good boy. There we are, we get these cuts done. Decision time here. Yeah? Which, in which way do I leave it attached? Yeah, I think I'll go down past there and leave it attached in the middle. Oh. Didn't happen in very many live streams, but in fairness, that blade has done a good few hours' work now. 
but it's time for the new one. So change it over. I'm all going well. This blade will finish off the job for us. This there. Yeah, but that's a good blade, that is. That's done its job. It's what? Oh, that's Nico's brought that in here. That's Yelly's uh, okay. resistance bands for training. There we are. So quick blade change. And that's the beauty see of the scroll saw. So quick as that, change the blade. I'll be back ready to cut again. No fuss, no waiting around. And off we go. wondering as well about the shape of the cross that's um that's what they requested was like a that was the drawing that was given so we were working from uh, what they asked for
All right, so that is all of the internal work done. And to finish off, we just got to cut out the entire surround. Just notice I've missed one little cut at the top, so we finish that one off. And there is that one little cut as well after that I forgot to drill the hole for.
I want to drill a hole. That one little one there. Can you see? Yep. And then that'll finish it off. So there we are. Hopefully that's interesting. Hopefully it's useful as well. Um, just gives you an idea that basically that is what we do. That's what we do as a day job. Um, scroll sort if you're new and you're getting into it. You can see how versatile it is. You can go from doing simple gift items, just like so, to much larger and intricate and, and complex designs. Um, as I mentioned at the start, this one is our last live stream for a little while. Uh, it's going to be a little a bit patchy for the next month or so. There we are. Ty's brought that one back. I can cut that hole out now. So that'll be the... Uh, we're kind of saying you can get a, a Dremel yeah. with a, a, a scroll saw she'd seen. Ah, yeah, yeah. Like, a, yeah, she mentioned that to me. A, yeah. a, a, a Dremel scroll saw. You could take that out of Spain with you, Dave. Yeah, yeah. She mentioned that. She did. Say leave a bit that feather a bit thicker, like you know. process that we use to do our day job cutting out a love spoon and all sorts of gift items thank you all again for joining us um yeah the next few weeks we're we're away in spain so uh, we'll miss you for the for the uh, next few weeks and then it i think i come back and then we go again because we've got a family wedding out there um, as always, we appreciate the support. I'll be here if anybody wants to contact me. There we are. Anyone wants to give Thomas a woodcarver a shout, he'll be about. Um, I know as well with the live streams, um, we had my uh, my brother here and he does lots of filming and he's he's uh, we were chatting about a few different ideas. So uh, I am hoping in time that there, there are going to be developments. So uh, yeah, something in the future, hopefully, to look forward to in terms of improving what we do. Hope you all um, have a good few weeks. Um, yeah, hope all your projects and things like that go well. Remember, if you've got any questions, any thoughts, get them into us. I've also just realised I haven't finished this. I've missed two holes. So there we are. We call it a, we call it a day for the live stream, but uh, I'm going to finish off those two holes before I call it a night. But thank you, thank you all again. And uh, thank you all for your support. Very good. Absolutely. Yeah, and all the very best to you all.